Hi, I'm Rajiv, and today we are learning about reupholstering furniture. One of the great things about living in New York City is that when you're walking home, you pass a lot of garbage, garbage outside buildings, and in that garbage is wonderful stuff sometimes. This stool was in the garbage heap outside, and it had a really gross seat in it that looked like, looked like it was covered in, in cat pee and poo. So I just popped it out with my knee, and then I looked at this and I thought, I'm, I'm taking this home. And then a few years ago, I started learning how to play the harp. When I started learning how to play the harp, my friend Caroline, who was teaching me, said I needed a harp stool. And that is when this little thing became a real piece of treasure. This stool is the perfect harp stool. It's the perfect size and it's almost the perfect height. So nerd alert, I transitioned from a Celtic harp, which is about this big, to learning how to play a full-sized concert harp, which is this big. And my harp teacher said that the stool was a little low. So the options were to buy a new stool or to somehow fix this one, to amend this. And Albert, when I asked Albert if he could turn this into something that was a little higher, he said, Rajiv, I can do anything. So this is Elio. Elio, how long have you worked here? Oh, for Albert, I've worked like 35 years. 35 years? Yeah. But you're only 35. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like, right? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and can I ask, where did you learn how to do this? Actually, I learned in my country. I'm from Ecuador. Yeah. So I am learning over there. And I know over here is a little more difficult, but. Yep. Yeah. So. Little by little. My mom, when I was small, she started a business making curtains. Oh, really? And in our basement, she had all these industrial machines, like the Juki machine. Okay. So she had a straight stitch, she had a pleater, she had a serger. So uh -huh. I grew up like watching her with fabric, cutting the fabric and sewing. Right. And sometimes she'd have to make curtains that were like 20 yards long. Oh, wow. And before we would go to sleep, we would go to the basement and I would say good night. And sometimes she'd be like really irritated and she'd be doing something. And I knew, I learned what she was doing. Sometimes if the stitches were not, like if the hem was not completely right. even, mm -hmm. she would be taking it out and oh re-sewing it for like 20 yards. And later, only when I grew up, I realized yeah. she only did that because she was a perfectionist. Right. Every line had to be straight. Every seam had to be even. The right. customer wouldn't know. Right. But for her. That's looking like Albert. Albert's Exactly. Perfect. Exactly. He liked the poor perfect. Yeah. Exactly. So here I am with the boss, with the big boss. This is Albert Vitiello. Vitiello? How do yeah, I pronounce Vitiello it? Vitiello is good. Vitiello. And Albert started upholstering furniture in his garage in 1975. And here we are. You've been in this, this specific shop for 35 years. Where did you really learn about the perfection in this craft? Uh, actually, I learned it from uh, my your my employer, one of my bosses, which was Emmanuel Decorators. Mm -hmm. um, he was amazing, and all these workers, which were even more amazing than him. These were all old school apostles from Germany, from Israel, mm -hmm. uh, and these are the people that taught me. The thing I love about this shop is you guys consistently, everybody who works here, the work is perfect. Yeah. And today, yeah. I just wanted to show everybody at home okay. how yeah. you're going to cover this harp stool. So let's let me, let's just okay. show this. Sure. I brought this in, and I asked Albert if he could, if you guys could make a stool. We can do any size you want. My teacher, my harp teacher, mm -hmm. she said the stool has to be firm because right. when you sit on it, it can't sink in. Right. So. So you so guys, let's... you made this base to, f look at this. This fits perfectly in here like a puzzle piece. This is the bones of, of any sort of reupholstery, is the actual structure. And Elio, how did you how did you make this so that it was firm? Like you started Actually, with a piece of wood? Yeah, we started with a piece of wood. We cut a piece of wood, right? The size, whatever the size is. Yeah. So we cut it. To fit perfectly. To fit perfectly, correct. Yeah. So then, that all depends how you firm you want. So you want firm, right? Yeah, the firmness is... So this is, is the form. They come in three different sizes. Actually, they have more. Okay. But what we use is soft, medium, and hard. Soft, medium, and hard. Right. And for my stool, you use hard. hard. Right. 
so that it doesn't sink in. There you go, yes. Right, now the, my next question is, because mm. I tried doing this once at home, okay. and it looked like garbage. <laughs> like I but, cut I cut it out, okay. it wasn't very even. What I w really wondered is, how do you get this beautiful curve? Okay, so it all depends, like I was showing this. This is, this is the phone, right? This all is the depends, phone. All depends how you want to do. Let's put this over here for one second. Okay. If you want to leave a list. So this is this is our this is the fabric that I've chosen, which is this really beautiful wool um, mohair, mohair mohair velvet. Right. And this is what's going to be on the the stool at the end. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So yeah, just I want to show you. This. If you want to go like this, yep. if you want to let's show the camera over here. This, yep. if you want to show this this edge. You don't have to pull too much. You can see the edge right away, if right? If you want a sharp if edge you like want this. It right, right. Okay. If you want it something like this, like a curved, uh, you, yeah. Yep. Then you gotta go like this. Forget about the fabric for now. Yep. You can put a muslin. We use a cotton. Oh. We use a cotton over here, right here on this edge, right? So this cotton goes over that, oh, that sharp edge. Stuff. There you go. And then we use muslin. Muslin. Right. Yep. Put it like this. Yep. We cut. All the pieces ah. while we're working on it, we use muslin. Okay. All the time we use muslin. Okay. That's it. And look, see how perfect is this? Nice little. Now, here's the thing about yeah. the muslin right. is you're stapling the muslin to the wood, right? Right. And that tension that you're pulling, it has to be even. Even. Everything's got to be even. Yes, like that. You can see right away. Over here in the corners, we hand stitch. You hand stitch layer, the corners. Right here. You can see over here. Look. That corner has been hand stitched, hand stitched, and the tension on that corner is perfect. Now it's ready to put a fabric. So, so basically, this is you're doing the work two times. Two times. There you're, you go. Yeah. You're covering the structure yeah. with muslin, muslin first. Yes. And then you're covering it again with the finished with fabric. The there you go. Mm -hmm. And not all not all upholstery shops will do the work no twice, way. right? No. But this is what makes the work perfect. Right. Every so the muslin's got to be perfect. Okay. The muslin so then, has to be perfect. Right, and then look, you can see the, the sofas. Right. Everything is done in muslin. All Cute. the way over there, everything is in muslin. Now we can cut the fabric. We can cut the fabric like this, okay? This is, I don't have to take a measurement because I know. Okay. I know that already. Okay. So now, <laughs> okay. I can go by eye, so I can cut the fabric. So Elio's a pro. That's it. He, he's been doing this so much that he doesn't really have to measure. He can go by eye. <laughs> and now to give it to Marga to over there. Yeah. What do we, we do? Mark, what do we do oh, about actually, these corners? Here. So okay. Let's sh let's show them what we do about, okay. because the corners of something like this, on on a stool like this where it's just so simple, the corners are what make it beautiful, right? The corners, the corners. have to be very perfectly actually, sewn. If you want, so many people doing yeah. this way. Yeah. Look, I can show you this. Make a little pleat. For me, looks ugly. Yes, that looks. That doesn't look as nice as what I usually see coming out of here. I'm sorry about but that. But this is what yeah. some some people do. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want to say who. But this, <laughs> you know? so about that. Now I yeah. put a nice seam in four corners. Yep. So go like this, or even. You can mark over here. Boom. Say. Same thing over here. That's it. Same thing over here. Okay. That's so it. You've marked all the corners with chalk. Yes. And then you're going to take it over to Margaret. I, I cut it, the corners, yep. and give it to Margaret. Now you can see over here. I'm not going to cut by the chalk. I, get, I got to give half inch extra. As the seam allowance. There you go. Okay. Yes. So, you can go like this. I can give it this to Marga. I got to go to the table, yeah. make it like this. And look, Marga got to go half inch. And and that's a half inch seam. What impresses me about everything you do is nothing leaves this shop that isn't. Well, that's the key. The key is, yeah. And I guess that's why you've been in business for so long. Correct. So you need to uh, do what you say. Yeah. So what's next, Elio? Okay. So now 
If you like, you can, all depends on the fabric. If okay. you like, you can put it, you can leave it like that. Direct. Over like this. Yep. And you're done. Okay. But to make it more nice. Yeah. You can put a piece of Dacron. Dacron? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I put it, a couple of staples here. It's got it nice and clean. Okay. Put it staples. You can put it right here. Here. That's it. That's it. She's done. It seems like the, the whole goal is to make this as smooth as possible, right? Yep. Okay. Look. Here. Step. Two. Three. No more than that. No more than that. And you trim away all the excess? All by the edge. By okay. the edge over here. I cut the dark one like this in the corner. Can I try? Okay. Like this? No, no. No, no. Like no, this. Look, look, but look. Oh, you gotta yeah. do this. Otherwise, this gotta be lumpy. The, the fabric's gotta be lump, like this. Look. I go like this. Yeah. Oh, and then like and that. You gotta do that okay, corner. Do look. That's it. Okay, and then tack. Okay. Oh, so this, this. You gotta cut the corners. Look. That's it. Every little detail. Okay, now. Okay. You want, I want to see try. if you learn something. I'm gonna try. Okay. Okay. Cut it on an angle. Yeah. And then. There you go. Yeah. Okay. That goes nicely in there. Uh huh. And then this goes over. Then, uh, yeah. Okay. And then. You can use this. Try. You just try. Is that okay? That's it. Yeah. And that's then it. we trim. And this is just a little in the corner. Look. That's it. Okay. Now we're ready to put the fabric. All the time I do this in the corners. Little snip. Okay. You know why? Look, you gotta put this fabric like this. Open seam. We call we call it open seam. Like oh. This. So many people don't do that. So many people do this way, only one way. Oh, and then there's that thick and edge that you see. Yes. Wow. Yep. So and do this like this. Look. You see the corner? Wow, beautiful. Let's show them the you corner. You can see the corner right here. So opening up that seam before it goes over the understructure is... Uh, and then you can put it, I use it all the time, I'm using staples, yeah. but they show with tacks. I got these tacks. A lot of people put this in the mouth. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they hold them in their mouth? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. But I don't want to do that. Oh, I used I used to do that. Yeah, this is magnetic. It's magnetic? Yeah. Wow, so the hammer just picks up the tack? Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. So let's open all this, all the corners. All the corners, I gotta open all the corners. Yeah, see? Okay. Then this, go easy, go like this. I gotta open seam, like I showed you. Mm -hmm. This guy come like this, with that. Right in the corner. Right at the corner. Right in the corner. Okay. Right there, this. Make it sure the seam is open. This seam is open. Yeah. Go like this and tuck. Okay. That's it. Why would you choose this instead of this at this point? It's nicer. Nice and clean. Clean, okay. Clean. Yeah. I can use this. Look. Yeah. Same, for me, it's, okay. you go sideways. You're not gonna go the whole thing because I gotta take it off. Oh, you have to take this off. Look, yes. I see. So this is just to hold it in place. To hold it to see if it's nice. Okay. So everything is perfect, and then you can staple it up. So this is just temporary. Temporary. Uh, you, yes. Okay. Okay. What do you think right now? I think. Hmm. Okay. So we have little puckers here. Mm hmm. Right. This is what I see. Yeah. And then I also, I mean, I know that this is temporary, right. but I do see it like this. So I, Why? Can, I can see where the staples are. That's it. Like I can could, I could see exactly where you put the staples. Right, and also over here. Yes. I, and the corners, I gotta pull more. And we gotta be, this gotta be exactly the same measurements. Okay. And this, can you tell me how much is this right now? It's two and three quarters. Well, three inches. Three inches. Three inches. And this? Three inches. Okay. Oh, we have oh we have almost four. See, see the difference? Wow. That's right. So you measure. 
always. And that's right, this is only basin. Okay. I put a tax just to see how it looks. Now, you can pull this a little more. Look at this. Yep. Take it off. Pull. Right, because this side was high. Yes. Okay. Is this something you could teach yourself to do at home? Absolutely not. Why not? Uh, because all you're doing <laughs> is wasting your time. To, have, to, to learn something from somebody is so easy. I think the other thing about this, this industry is that in order for the, for the result to be beautiful, you have to have years and years and years it's of practice. experience. It's, it's all practice. So if you're recovering no. a sofa or you're recovering a chair at home, you're doing one. Oh, no. and This is all re repetition work. Rep doing how to stretch fabric, how to pull, how to tack. It's, it's, just, it's all almost muscle memory. Now, can you tell me? Three. Three inches, inches exactly. That's it? So now, this. We don't see this. How much is this? How much is this? This one is three and a quarter. Okay, we got a full quarter inch. Yep. So. Okay. So, now. It's three. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. Now, I don't need anything else. Like I said, only my, my experience. 35 not, years my, of experience. My, my experience is not everything. So now, look, just go like this. I go like this, mm -hmm. just like this. Now I gotta kill him. Now, you can see it. Over here's a little more. But right. Look, see? Oh, now so it's a straight. That tension is so see? important. And you can't pull too tight. No, because I'm gonna show you this. Look at this. Now, how is it? Oh, beautiful. Now, like check it out. If I go like this. Oh, there. Looks okay? Yeah. No, it's pulled uh, too see? much. That's what, I, see? That's what you gotta go when you start. That's what you gotta go. Exactly the same. Yes. Look. If you can see it like that, you can go like this. My eye, like this. Yep. Yeah, okay. it's perfect. Yeah. So. Always, I live up to here. That's it. Don't okay. worry about that. Up to here. Then I go to this side. Okay. Later, I clean the. Uh, I kill the corners. Okay. So this, go like this. Mm -hmm. Round. So, so That's this it. is this is where over the years you developed the hand for it, right? That's and only comes from experience. And right? all depends on the fabric too. Sometimes. Yes. Leather, vinyl, or any kind of fabric. Silk. Silk, you gotta know how you gotta put staples in the silk. Oh, wow. Otherwise you can yeah. rip the fabric, Rip right? the fabric or you show the pull marks. Oh, really? Yes. So so you really, every fabric requires it's, a yeah. different hand and a different technique. You can see this over here, like this. So now, if I pull, I don't know, let's pull this way. Getting better. So, I'm not like this. I can't pull like this, but okay. Okay, so I gotta do this this way. Okay. Now you can see the camera. I know the corners is not done yet. Yes. That's why it's going like this. Right. So, I go like this again. So, over here, take this out. Starting in the middle. In the middle, look. So that's right. In the middle, look like a pool. Yeah. It's ugly, it's ugly. But now you can go like this. And over here too. That's it. Done. Beautiful. Now, corners. the corners. Now, that's, this is where the beauty is, right? Corners, yes. The corners. Now, of course, I open the corners up to here. Oh, you cut this? Mm, actually, I open oh, the seam. Oh, you open the, the seam. seam? Yes. Right there. To See? where, Elio? To this. Right to, to the, the edge, edge of, the, of wood. the wood? Yes. So, look, look over here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. See? You're pulling that right down. That's it. Now, you can go, look, I gotta open a little more, see? Yep. That's it. Okay. Look, and then 
can go like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. You just smash it a little bit because the fabric is heavy fabric, so. So you're hammering the actual fabric to thin it down? Yes. Yeah. Then this. Oh. Okay. This is a key thing that Elio says is very important just for the work to look very neat. He stapled the first side of the corner that he cut and then he cut away the excess, right? Yes, and smash with a hammer a little bit to make it... Compress the fabric. Right. Look. So that smashing is, is to compress this cloth to make it a little to denser. Make it a little ten yes. Now, we go like this, pull a little more like this, this, make it. So, staple like this, and yeah. you have to know how you can cut it over here because this is a corner. Right. There's the, there's wood underneath here. So what what are you gonna do you with this? Go in angle. Go like this. Not too much. Just like this. Beautiful. You see the difference? Go this, like this. Right. So now I'm gonna do the same thing what I did and the. The other corners. Do you want to make one? <laughs> no, I'm no. I would actually I don't okay. because I think the beauty of this is that it's when it's done by the same hand. Oh, you yeah. can see. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And this this is my harp stool, and the harp is a very expensive instrument. Oh. So I don't want to fool around with this bench. <laughs> Look, you can see over here the corner. Look, you got, look, see the corner? This corner? Yeah. Like you're looking oh, at this right here, right? right? Yeah. Look, this point. Go like this. Yeah. You got to give it a hand, you know, help with the hand. Like nice, look, boom. Go like this, right in this edge. Boom. This, you got to cut an angle. I got to show you, like this. Yeah. Boom. Now, this, go like this. What is? That's it. You have little, just take it away. Take it away. Okay. That's it. Right here, go like this. One staple is enough. Over here. Done. Okay. That's it. That is. That is. Uh, this is a prof Course. professional job. Of course, I gotta cut this. Now we gotta cover this in cambric. So oh, you cover nice. this. You cover this part. Yeah, because it's gotta be nice. You yeah. Know, so nobody's gonna see this. Well, but you want a good job. The job's gotta be complete. So you cover all of this, right? Yeah, all the staples. You're okay. not gonna do it like this. It's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> you, you want it like that? It's ugly. It is ugly. This is what I love about this place. Nothing ugly comes out of this shop. Everything, even if no one's gonna see it, they know. Just fold it a little bit. Yeah. Many people use stacks. So many people use stacks. We can use staples. Done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. And the job is done. So now we're ready for installation, right? Yep. So. Wow. Right there, right in the morning. Look at Boom. that. Would you That's ever it. think that this came out of the garbage? This is the, this is the. It's up to you. <laughs> beauty of, of doing this. We gotta put a couple screws. You can go easy. We'll make it easy for you guys. Flip it upside down. Yeah. Look, right there. Boom. Not letting, so that's fine. That's fine. Let me go like this. So, so. Okay. So wow. your job is complete. Done. Beautiful. That's it. There you go. 
Elio, thank you so much. Thank You're you. You're very welcome. Thank you for showing That's us it. how you did this. So my couch is here to be recovered. My sofa's here. And I was wondering, what's the best thing to show? And I thought, a sofa is a huge thing, but a stool, people might just assume, oh, I could do that at home. Oh, yeah, and no. This is why I wanted to show a, just a seat being covered, because even something as simple as this, yeah. there is such precision involved in, in making it look professional. That's why I wanted to show them just a, How a stool they, cover. Yeah, right. You know, because they, this, yeah. anybody can say, oh, this is easy to do. No way. Even, look is like look like easy but it's not exactly no so i i would have thought this was easy and then i did it okay. and it looked like garbage <laughs> and that's yeah, what okay. that's what i had so that's you what can I see had. right now yes exactly. you, now you had this for forever yeah yeah well this this is this really looks like it came out of a shop and that's because it did this is a this is a professional shop so something like this if you were working uninterrupted, if mm -hmm. I wasn't here bothering you, oh. how, how long would it take you to do this? I don't know how can I say it, but maybe... 20 minutes, half an hour? Yeah, I can say half an hour. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Thank you, thank you so much. You're very welcome, <laughs> I'm gonna, you're very welcome. I'm gonna use this at the harp. Every time I practice, I sit on this, and I will think of this day. So thank you. All right, no problem, you're welcome. Albert, yeah. thank you so much for letting us come into your shop. You're welcome, and, thank you. And for, for for letting us cover the process of recovering my harp stool. You okay. know that everything that I sit on in my apartment was covered by you here. It is all perfection. And I, I really, really am honored to, to be able to bring my stuff here and to have yeah. people that really care about what they're doing. Um, I said, it's all about them. You know, they, without them, you have no shop. It's all about the workers, yep. as far as I'm concerned. Look at all thank these, you. there's like thank you letters on this whole wall from years and years and years of, of very happy customers. Yep. And I Correct. feel very privileged to count myself as one of them. Well, there you have it. An introduction to my little gem of an upholsterer here in Long Island, Albert Vitiello Decorators. What did you think of this video? Is it something you might want to try yourself at home? Maybe you'll go out and find an upholsterer of your own wherever you live. Please, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, but either way, and I hate to have to ask you to do this, please subscribe to my channel so that I can keep making videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.